why you do this to me. The little meter sees there's a face right here. It, it knows there's a face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Tuesday, AK September 18th, 8K. <laughs> Your birthday! Wow. That's so nice. Okay, and, <laughs> and Claire made some taco lunch, because that's what I asked for. I want to do Taco Tuesdays, and I decided today is going to be the first Taco Tuesday. And by Taco Tuesday, I mean once a month. Every Tuesday. <laughs> Not every Tuesday, that's a little too much. So, it's it's time. Oh good, you got the good salsa. Danielle and I were worried. I was given this with the instructions. It's salsa. the jarred salsa. Yeah, not the jarred salsa, you gotta be the fresh salsa by the hummus. Comment below if you guys know. Oh, guac. All right, we are ready. Okay, also the team got Prairie Girl, and if anybody knows anybody from Prairie Girl, you need to sponsor us. Stay open later than six o'clock and, yeah. <laughs> also, maybe have a location in the West End because they're all downtown, but your West End girls, West Prairie, get it? Okay, anyways, Prairie Girl, sponsor us. This stuff is the best. <laughs> We will have to go back. So, Whose birthday's next? Your birthday. My birthday's yes. next. Like yes. Here you go, sponsor my birthday. Well, happy birthday. Yay. Yay. Hey guys, I'm in the Art of Demolition, which is a cool vintage shop. And I'm shopping for a room makeover. We haven't announced this yet, but I'll officially announce it here. We are shopping for Miss L Mills. Yes, that's right. We're doing Elle's makeover and we are so excited. It's actually been crazy. We're doing dorm this week, camping trip next week where we're like off the grid and then we come back and then like we have to go to Ottawa and shoot Elle's room. But it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a busy couple weeks and there are some amazing pieces here. I don't wanna spoil anything, but like, can, can you see what I might be getting over there? It is Thursday and we are going back to school because we're doing dorm room makeovers and I know we've said it, I just don't know how much we filmed. I feel like mm -hmm. we didn't film yesterday at all, eh? No, we're busy. We've just started the room and this room is Harry Potter themed, which is such a cool theme to do. You're like, what's the little gremlin I'm thing? Dummy. What time it is? Time to go to Hogwarts and learn. All right, we're gonna reveal it to her now. Hopefully she likes it. That's the revealing part of the song. <laughs> Two done, one, one more, more to go. go. They've all been great. Well, I'm assuming this one's gonna be great. I think this is my favorite one I've ever done. <gasps> really? Big, big talk. Whoa. <laughs> it was like such a theme. It was really fun. Oh my God, we should have also made this washroom like the Myrtle. Isn't that a thing? Good morning, Myrtle. We should have. No. I did oh, know. Crap. I know. I know some Harry Potter guys. Not all of it, but we watched a video today about what Deathly Hollows is. Education 101. I got taught. <laughs> it is day three of dorm series. Final day. Final room. And um, let me explain what's going on over here. We're pumping up an air mattress because we got one of the girls. Got it. We got one of the girls an air mattress, and Claire was like, "Do you want me to do it so you don't get sweaty?" And I was like, oh, "I love you." Also. Okay, ready? Ready. Give me a good beat going. Okay. Pumping up the bed. Claire's got it. Think about my sweat. Doesn't want me to rock it. That's all. <laughs> 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 ah! Woo! Someone there! I bet it looked way more glamorous in the video, or I guess the video's not out yet, but when the video comes out, it'll be just like nice shots of this. Well, the bed will look glamorous. That's good enough. Jack, ready? don't let go. Okay, ready? <laughs> Yeah, Becky with all the jokes. Oh, no! Plug no, no, no. no, it with your finger! Somebody! Oh god. Oh my god. Rookies. Uh. Hi guys, it's Saturday and we made it through dorm makeover series 2018. We had three dorms last week and it was like crazy whirlwind of just DIYing and making over and working all the time. But they turned out amazing and I'm so happy with them. I can't wait for you guys to see the videos. Actually, when you're seeing this vlog, the first one will have already been out on Tuesday. So go watch it if you haven't yet. It turned out amazing. Oh, hello sunlight. Why are you leaving me? It's also the first day of fall today and I feel like I look really pale. So hand in hand, winter is coming. I'm not ready for it. But what's happening next week actually is something really cool. So Kelsey and I got invited to go on a trip by Outward Bound Canada. Basically it's like, 
a guided camping trip up in Algonquin for a whole week. I think it's five days, Monday to Friday. Uh, they basically take you out there and teach you how to survive. I'm like a little nervous. I have gone camping before, but I haven't done like the hiking, portaging, camping, everything. I usually just go to a campsite and hang out there for a weekend. And even at that, like maybe the most I've ever been camping is like a long weekend, which would only be three days. So this is five days of, I think, pretty intense camping. And I don't know if I'm ready for it, but either way, I'm really excited. It's going to be something that I don't think I've ever done before and I'm going to learn some stuff. That's for sure. Today's Saturday, so we leave on Monday. So literally two days from now. So today is my day to pack everything and make sure I have everything for this trip. So I'm going to go out, hit up a couple stores and grab all the things that I need for that. So I'm going to bring you guys along. Let's go. <laughs> Too much? Not enough? Can't tell. All I ever wear is black leggings. Should I branch out? They're cute, but oh no, black is my thing. Um, okay, it's Sunday and I'm back now. I've done all my shopping and I actually didn't need to get that much at all really, which was really good. But I did want to show you the things. It did pick up in case it's interesting for some people. So the first thing I got, which is like my most favorite thing ever in the whole world, is this white Sherpa jacket. It's uh, Columbia and it's like soft and Sherpa-y on the outside and like lined on the inside and I just feel like a comfy little polar bear wearing it and they stressed so many times not bring cotton because if cotton gets wet then it stays wet and turns out a lot of things I own are made of cotton. Maybe white is a bad idea for camping but it doesn't matter because I love this so much. Speaking of the no cotton route, sweatpants because I think I'm going to be cold at night. So I found these. They're Adidas but they're from Winners and they are like sweatpants but they're just made of not cotton. And they were $30 which is not bad at all. That's why I love Winners. Um, then I hit up Yield Sporting Goods store and got a couple things. One is a Nalgene water bottle and I used to go to like summer camp every summer and this was like the thing. And I don't know, I just saw this and it was instant memories from when I was a kid. These are indestructible, they'll get you through anything. It's just a basic plastic water bottle, but this is only 12 bucks for like a liter of water. And then I also got, these are so cute. They're like the little babyest little carabiners that I can clip this onto a bag or whatever. I was looking for the regular sized ones, but I couldn't find them, which was odd. But these are cute sized, which we love. We love a cute size anything. <laughs> Also, at the sporting goods store, I got a very sexy bug net jacket, which if you're in a buggy situation, this is your new best friend. It's super unflattering, but it will save your life. It's lightweight and it literally just coats you in netting so that you don't get attacked by bugs. And I don't know, it's fall right now, so there could be no bugs, but there also could be lots of bugs and I just don't want to chance it because I don't feel like dealing with bugs. The next thing I got is this watertight electronic bag. It says it's for an iPad, but I just got it because it's the biggest size. I literally had one of these on a vacation a while ago where I put my phone in the little size one and took it underwater to take underwater video and my phone was completely fine. And it was only 17 bucks, which my electronics not get wrecked worth it. Okay, sorry the framing's probably different, but dead battery situation, which speaking of batteries, Okay, I was gonna show you, but I just literally opened them to do this battery swap right now. But speaking of batteries, I bought two new batteries for this camera because we are gonna try and film this whole trip, which will be interesting because it's a week with no access to like an outlet to charge the battery if it dies. So we have a lot with us, but cold, I know kills batteries really quickly. So I'm just praying to the battery gods that we can get a video out of this whole week and the batteries last. So it's just luck. Good morning guys, it is Sunday and today's gonna be a little bit of a running around day. I'm meeting my friend Ariana for brunch. You know when you're like, it's so late, it's probably just lunch now. And then I have to get a lot of stuff for this camping trip. It's gonna be exciting. Never done anything like that before. We're gonna be completely off the grid, but we will be bringing our, um, our vlog cameras. But I need to get some things for that because I don't really have a lot of camping gear or just like warm clothing. So I'm gonna go shopping too. You can come along with me, I guess. Harry and I feel like every time we're together, we're just shopping. We're thrifting now. We're giving like a Mary Kate Ashley vibe. Make a gross face, like you don't oh, want to like... buy it. <laughs> I'm shopping for pajamas. I wish these were pants. They're like, they crop and I don't like it. I'm vlog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But look how much <laughs> this is because they're mad. Like I, I think they have to be more like this. We, we out here. I think this is my first time in here. Let me show you around. Okay, Ariana knows, guys. I learned something new about Ariana today, but it's also new for you too, yeah. that she can't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi. Okay, 
I'm back from shopping. Okay, I'm back from shopping and I spent way too much money today, so that sucks. But the thing that's good is that I'm borrowing some things from friends, so I'm saving money. So it's like, spend a little bit, but you save a little bit. I wanted to share some hacks with you guys that I'm going to be using on this trip. One thing that was really worrying me is this isn't doing like, the most amazing the top one's like not loving life but anyways i was really nervous about like what i'm gonna do for hygiene for cleaning it because you just use this like multiple times a day and it's just like a very big when you're trying to pack very light like i don't even know for showering but this is a saline spray and i was like i wonder if i can find a smaller version of it i remember looking online and i saw saline nasal spray and obviously nasal sprays are like a little bit smaller and then i asked the pharmacist and i was like is this like the same thing can i just use this like it says nasal but like the ingredients are like pretty much the same and he was like yeah sure that works and I was like okay I guess I'll be using this hopefully all goes well much more travel size so if you've just gotten a piercing and need to travel maybe check out the saline nasal spray okay and then one other hack to do with the piercing I'm sorry like I don't really know the overlap of demographic of people that just got a piercing and are going camping or going traveling but maybe this will be helpful <clears throat> So she also said, um, the piercer, I like DM'd her on Instagram. She said that it looks like it's a little squished because I've been sleeping on it and I have been because like, I don't know, I just roll over in the middle of the night and I don't wake up and then I wake up and I'm like, oh, it hurts. And then I like turn back over. But you guys said this, but I didn't listen to you. I don't know why. I just thought it wouldn't be comfortable, but a neck pillow. And then it took me like two seconds to blow up and then I can sleep like this. So I think I'm going to bring this because I can compress it and it'll take up like zero room. Okay, I am just about done packing. I just have to deal with like all these cards and stuff and get all the camera stuff ready and respond to like a lot of emails actually. But I think that's it for this week's vlog. Thank you guys for watching and wish us luck in the wilderness. I'm really excited. And like I said, I'm nervous and I just hope I make it out alive. Is it bear season? I don't even know. Are there bears? I don't even know. Okay, we'll see you next week.